What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey guys. Hallelujah. Whoa. Thank you, Lord. Mm. I'm just gonna wait a minute, just uh getting some people on here. Just taking taking a few moments. Uh just seeing what's up. Sorry, I was looking at my uh my guitar collection over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so anyway, um, hallelujah, glory. Hey, Bonnie, good to see you. Good to see you. Guys, just take a moment and share. Uh, whoa, I'm going to talk about some some um, exciting things coming up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Hey, Matt. What's up, Matt? Hey, bro, you never believe what I got, man. So, uh, Matt um, tried the hot sauce I make. I make, uh, speaking of Fuego, um, but uh, I make uh, a hot sauce out of um, uh, Carolina Reapers. I, got, I make this, this hot sauce has 40 Carolina Reapers in it, which is Guinness Book of World Records calls it the hottest pepper in the world. However, there is a hotter pepper. There's actually two hotter peppers, but they just don't have the world record yet um, uh, for it. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, hey, Jason. Um, but it's called, one of them's called Pepper X, and the other one's called Dragon Breath. So, Matt, I bought um, some Dragon Breath uh, uh, peppers to make a hot sauce, bro. So, um it is going to be legit. Uh, so, uh, hey, why everybody's getting on? Just tell me where you're watching from. I'm gonna log in real quick um, on my uh, on my uh, tablet here, my iPad, so I can share this uh, broadcast on my groups. Um, I should already been logged in. I apologize. Um, I had to I had to change my passwords on everything yesterday because I got hacked twice in a row, just bam bam, just that quick. Um, had a bit. Oh yeah, bro, it it was hot, man. It was so hot. Um, so yeah, let me. I'm gonna share this real quick to my All groups. Right. Let me turn that down. Um, glory to God. Mm, 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 mm. Share to groups. See, I, I don't do this all the time like some guys do. Um, some guys have an anointing for this stuff and um, for doing live streams. and So I'm fairly new to, to it. I, I need to do it all the time. Um, but it's something you have to stay in the habit of doing to develop a, um, a following uh, presence on Facebook. Hey, DD, How you doing? So we got Lindell, Texas. I love Lindell, Texas. I minister in Lindell, Texas a lot. Um Five times in the last 12 months, I have I have preached in Lindell, Texas. I love, absolutely love the people in Lindell, Texas. Um, those are my people, uh, for sure. Jessica, hey, Jessica, how you doing? Hey, Jessica, you know what? I, did, I remembered right when I saw your name that um, I owe you a CD. Because you had gotten a, C a CD teaching at one of the events and the, and the CD was in there. And because I stayed on the road and extended revivals, I forgot all about it. So message me, Jessica, um, the uh, CD teaching that you got that the CD was missing. And I'll get it out to you now that I'm home. I'm only home for like five more days and then I'm back out. I'll be gone for like 14 weeks. Donna, what's up? Donna has an amazing story. Um... Donna um, lives in Canada. Um, she has felt the uh, the the call of the Lord on her life and ha hadn't really known what what how to do it, how to proceed, and hasn't really found a place to fit in. And so Donna said, "Hey, I want to come on the road with you guys for a little bit." So Donna is going to be at most of our meetings in in New York, um, but then after that, she's coming on the road. She's going to be with us out on the West Coast the entire time and. We'll see what she does after that. Amen. Um, I see Todd Finney. Hey, Todd. How you doing, buddy? Nathan. Hey, Nathan. What's up, brother? Can't wait to see you in uh, California. Um, I saw. I think I saw Sean Barker pop on. Glory. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of good people on here. Share the broadcast, guys. Help me out. 
um, on, on what we're doing here. Um, I'm trying to build my, uh, my, Hey, Hey, Danielle. Hey, Danielle. You know what? Hey, would you do me a favor, Danielle and resend me that link, um, that you had sent me that one time about the t-shirts. I tried to find it the other day and, um, I couldn't locate it for whatever reason. So, um, if you could send that to me, that would be awesome. Nathan, I, I really hope you come down to the Modesto meetings. Um, it's going to be fire. It's going to be fuego. Hallelujah. So, um, anyway, uh, hallelujah. Glory to God, man. I, I'm pumped about what God has been doing, um, in my life. Um, but not just in my life and in other, other people's lives too. Um, there is such an incredible level of, uh, glory, um, and a desire. Guys, look, there is a, there is a, a, a remnant that is rising up, guys, whether you know it or not, that are literally seeking after reformation, awakening, and holiness. Um, I, I have been under this, um, this kind of this fire in my spirit. It's, it's like a fire shut up in my bones. It's like something I can't get rid of. Um, this desire for holiness in my life. And, and look, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm better than anybody else because I got my own junk that I'm trying to work out in my own life. I think we all have problems, but I, I think holiness is, we have this misconception on what holiness is, um, in the body of Christ because of all the bad teaching on holiness. Like, like holiness is this weird, creepy Pentecostal type, uh, you know, controlling, type thing, but really holiness is just a desire to be in the proximity of his glory all the time. And what are you willing to shed out of your own life if he asks you to do that? Are you willing to fight for um, for his presence in your life? Or are you wanting to fight for whatever it is in your life that's, that's separating you from him? See, many times what happens is we're willing to fight for the stuff that separates us. It's like, oh no, I don't believe God would say that. Well, but what if he did say it? What if what if that what if that thing is separating you from God? Are you willing to get rid of it? And so, you know, I don't think it's a matter of throwing in these these man made traditions and laws and all these different things. What I think it is 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 this a desire to have a purity about you that you know that you've answered the Lord on what it is He wants you to uh, to just basically cut out of your life. So, for instance, um, if God says to me, look, I don't want you to eat sugar anymore, it's not because I don't want you to, ha to enjoy um, uh, the things you like, but, but the thing is, Derek, I know that you are addicted to sugar, and so every time that you have sugar, you want more sugar. And so, if God asks me to give that up, then am I going to fight for the sugar, or am I going to fight for him? And being close to him. You know you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving that as an example. I'm not saying God would do that to you. You know? What if God tells you to 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 get your TV out of your house, you know? It's like, you know, I, I, I like TV. I like going to the movies. Uh, my, my wife and I go to the movies a lot and stuff like that. But what if he asked me, said, Derek, look, I would rather you not do that because it takes away um, from the time you spend with me and I believe it corrupts your mind or whatever it is he would say to me. Am I willing to fight for watching movies or am I willing to fight for, for him? You know, and so it's a matter of that. So I see, I see people, um, emerging out of the church and saying, look, we want, we want to fight for God in our life. No matter what that looks like, we're wanting to, we're wanting to fight for it. And, um, uh, it, it's just, it's really neat to see it happening, and I really believe that this is the threshing floor season where there's been a lot of things that have been accepted in the body, that God is now separating that out. There's a separation of the sheep and the goats and all these different things happening, and it's exciting to watch it. But look, I came on here specifically right now to talk about an event that's coming up in, um, in October. Uh, we, um, man, we were on the road, guys. We were on the road seriously for uh, 12 weeks, 12 weeks, and um, it was it was absolutely amazing. We first went to Pennsylvania, uh, went to Pennsylvania, to New York, to New York. We had extended meetings. We had to leave, um, and then we had to 
uh, go to Houston, uh, or well, actually Dallas, and then Lindell, and then Houston. In Houston, we had extended meetings, five days, and then back to uh, 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 New York and stayed another five or six or seven, uh, six weeks. And so that whole time, that whole time we're out on the road, and God was just pouring, 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 pouring out. Uh, we had different countries represented. We had, uh, man, some nights there was more Canadians in the meetings in New York than than uh, Americans. We had, I think, something like 16 different states represented. And the interesting thing about this church in New York is that uh, my brother William Pollock, Prophet William Pollock, um, actually had an extended revival uh, meeting there last year um, where God poured out for four months um, right now, as, as when I left two weeks ago, uh, we were at eight weeks, eight weeks, and I'm going back next week, um, and may be there for the rest of the month until I go to California. It just depends. I don't know what God's going to do, but, um, you know, if God continues to pour out, we will continue to go. Um, but, uh, so we will be there the first weekend of October. I will be back in Little Valley, New York. Little Valley, New York, it's it's an amazing place. It's very touristy, country place. Ellicottville is real close to there. It's got the skiing, slopes, and things like that. Um, people are coming. People are driving five and six hours, three nights a week for these meetings, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it has been absolutely incredible. An incredible flowing of the Holy Spirit. Um, he, the Holy Spirit, he has been amazing. And... Um, so that's the first week. The second week, now get this, the second week, um, we're doing what's called the war cry. The war cry. Um, and what is happening is my buddy, Prophet William Pollock, and I are coming together. We're bringing the two streams together. It's convergence. It's a convergence. Listen, a convergence of what God has done last year and what he's doing right now. And we're coming together for one weekend, for one weekend, to blow this thing off the map. It's going to be crazy. Now, listen, I don't know how to explain this to you, except, you know, because I'm not been... Let me try to clean this off. It looks a little... Maybe it's just my phone. I, I need a better phone to do these things with. Uh, you know, I can actually use my good camera, and I can slave it to this. So I just don't... I've never figured it out yet. But, um... Uh, we what we're gonna do is so so we're bringing the we're bringing the streams together. People are coming from all over. People are coming from like thirty some different states. To this they're flying in. There are people that are camping. There's people that got hotels. There's people that are just gonna sleep in the church. I'm telling you right now, if you want to come, if you're willing to drive, it's it's just it's basically Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. If you're willing to go and you don't have a place to stay, let me know. We will figure it out. We will find a place for you to stay. We'll find something for you. Um, you need to be there. It's going to be life-altering, life-changing. Uh, for It's something that will shake you to the core for the rest of your life. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm going to look at these comments here. Don't your iPad. Board. Yeah, you know what? I don't have a thing big enough for my iPad to, to sit on. So, um, Dalton, are you, are you coming back? Are you coming back to my house today, Dalton? I'm bringing guys, look, I'm bringing with me an incredible team. I'm bringing a team with me. Um, uh, right. As of right now, um, my wife is going to be with me, which by the way, is one of, uh, the most incredible prophetic ministers, um, that you would ever, ever, ever meet. Um, she is like scary personal prophecy type thing. Like, like, why are you in my head type of thing? Um, I, as a matter of fact, I jokingly tell her sometimes, look, if you want to stay married, get out of my head. Um, I'm joking about it, but, um, plus we're bringing, uh, Neil Anderson. Neil Anderson, uh, is my spiritual son. He has an incredible healing gift, plus he's very prophetic. Um, I'm bringing Michi, actually his name is Demetrius, one of my spiritual sons, um, he is incredible, incredible, incredible prayer warrior, prophetic minister. Also, um, works highly, highly, highly in um, deliverance ministry. Um, 
and uh, it, he's amazing. Uh, I'm bringing Donna. Donna's part of our team. She, man, she, this, this lady is a go-getter. She, she'll pray for healing. She'll, whatever God tells her to do, she's on it. Um, she is incredible. Um, Dalton James is coming with me. Dalton's one of our church family members here. Um, he's kind of a spiritual son, and uh, he's coming. And look, man, it's going to be incredible. And that's just, that's just part of my team. I'm I'm actually trying to get it arranged to where maybe Jennifer Daniels comes, um, which is uh, my spiritual daughter here in Kansas City, an amazing. She is a prophet, um, and uh, also Ruth Marquez. I, I talked to her today about coming. Ruth Marquez is uh, a prophet. Um, she is a, a sister of mine. Um, you know, uh, man, love her. She's been part of my team for a few years now, and um, that's just my team. That doesn't count. Prophet William Pollock's team. And by the way, I say Prophet William Pollock. He's actually apostolic. Um, but I don't know if he wants to tell people that or not. Uh, so I'll tell you for him. Um, I'm going to see if I can. I wonder if I can get William on. I don't know where he's at. Uh, let me see if I can invite him um, to this broadcast. Does anybody know how to invite somebody um, like particular? See, I'm horrible about this stuff. Somebody, somebody needs to teach me. Somebody needs to teach me how to do this. So I guess what I'm saying, guys, is look, if um, you guys need to be there in New York, that's how that's how really radical this thing is going to be. It's it, I, you know, he it, William called the convergence. I call it the convergence of the wild ones, the people that are so stinking radical that so, that sometimes the church don't even want them. That's how radical they are because they are world changers. They are atmosphere shifters. They are fire starters. They are dead raisers. And they are not afraid to take up, to take up arms against the enemy. Look, this day and age of this wussy, offensive church body is over. God is coming in and slitting the neck of that offensive personality. Hey, Marianne, come. You're not very far away. Actually, I think there's uh, some people coming from Rochester. God is coming in and slitting the throat of that offended uh, spirit and saying, man up, woman up, stand the line, come at me. That's that's what God's doing, man. Let me um, see if I can invite him. Whoa. Bam. I sent a I sent an invite. We'll see if he gets on. Ben Burgess, what's up, my brother? I love you, man. Hallelujah. Ben is one of the most amazing men of God you ever meet in your life. I don't I don't know why more people don't know him. He needs to be preaching every weekend somewhere. That's how good he is. I think they're actually working on. Um, I think they're actually well, Jessica. I don't know if he is actually. I don't think he's on here. Uh, yet I don't. He didn't know I was going to do a live stream talk about him. So, um, if you don't know Ben Burgess, look him up. Um, there's also a couple other people. If you don't know William Pollock, uh, look him up. If you don't know Sean Barker, look him up. Uh, those are all friends of mine that are incredible, incredible uh, uh, ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, Sean Barker will preach the house down. I can tell you that right now. Uh, hallelujah. Kelton Hughes, what's up, Kelton? Kelton's uh, part of Tribe, uh, part of the Tribe Network that I'm part of. Hallelujah. So what is, so people ask, what are the what, what are the war eagles? What are the war horses? Well, God has been releasing um, these words about uh, the war horses, the wild ones, the war eagles. You know, he's probably been releasing those words for a while to other people. I got a word on it um, about, I don't, I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at Elijah list uh, when they published it. But um, I think about 12 months ago on the wild ones, that God is raising up the wild ones um, and releasing them into the body. Now, what are the wild ones? Well, the wild ones are the wild ones. They're the ones that don't look the part. They don't look, you know, the traditional boxed-in look of the of what the church should, what would accept. Uh, the wild ones would be, you know, those that aren't afraid to cross streams. Look, I'm not afraid to go into the African-American church, and I'm not afraid to let them come into mine, you know, because we're supposed to be one body. We're not supposed to be separated. This is ridiculous. You know, uh, I, I go into Hispanic churches. I go into black churches, and I let them come into my churches, you know. Um, 
you know, it, it, because we're supposed to, supposed to be one. Actually, our church in Kansas City is multicultural in, in leadership, multicultural in the congregation, and um, that's the way it should be. Um, wild ones are the ones that aren't afraid to push the hot topic buttons. We're not sold out to popular opinion. You cannot buy a wild one. You cannot buy a wild one. What are the war, war horses? The war horses are the apostolic front that goes in. The apostolic front that goes in and they, they have the ox anointing. They go in and they plow the ground. They go in and they break up the hard ground. They go in and they they come in with a breaker anointing and they break it. They break it with power and authority. What are the war eagles? The war eagles are the, that's the, uh, the, the, the prophetic. Those are the people that see into, see, look, I, I learned this from uh, my brother, uh, Ryan Lestrange, that, that look, that, the, that prophets speak the seasons and apostolic people, apostles, can shift dimensions. And so, you know, that when God unites those two things, when the when the prophetic and the apostolic converge, when there's a convergence, it is a perfect storm. And that's why we believe that there's a tempest that goes before us. The tempest is the glory cloud that goes before us. Hallelujah. Uh, no sound, your video stopped. I did it did it stop for anybody else or is it just uh, Casey? Uh, I think I think we're still good, Casey. It might just be on your end. So uh, what we're seeing here is that there's a glory cloud that's going before us. See, that's what I believe is happening in New York is there's been a glory cloud that has come into New York. And that glory, see, we think of the storm as being a bad thing. But look, a storm can be a good thing. A storm, A, one thing a storm does is it blows things out that don't need to be there. And it also blows things in that need to come. So there's a shift that happens in the atmosphere when the when the when the two uh, uh, streams converge. When there's a convergence, when the glory is on the war eagle and the war horse, when the wild ones come together, bam! There's a glory cloud that goes before us, and it, and it shifts the atmosphere of a region, and that's what's happening in New York. And see, our prayer is not that it just happens in New York. Our prayer is that the people that come get something. They get a tangible anointing, a tangible anointing, and they leave with it, and they go, and they literally shift the atmospheres of the place they're going. Look, I'm telling you, you need to be there. You need to be in New York. Uh, we're there. And it, it, this is something, I look, I'm not a hype machine. That's why you don't see me on here doing these things about every meeting we have and all this different stuff is because that's not who I am. But what I do know is when God is doing something, when I, when I do know that when there is something in, in the air, when God is doing something that's big, I need to tell you about it. it I, I need you to be there. Look, God is doing something big in New York, and it's the second week in New York, the 12th, 13th, and 14th, and I hope you're there, guys. I really hope you're there. Holy Spirit, yes, absolutely. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, hey, let, let's get some prayer requests going. Mm. Just begin to pray in the Spirit with me. Shakala Bashin to Sota la Baha, he shakala Maha, O Shanti, see till he be he, she, de he, O la Bacala, Bashon to see the bee, be the bee, how shun did he, O Clabaha Shanda, Sota la Bahi. Just pray in the spirit with me. Hala her she to Sokalam Baha, shun did he, he, le be he, shun did he, he, le be her Bashon de Sito de la Bashin to the Dopa. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there's somebody on here right now that's been um, looking for, uh, you, you, there's something to do with a job, um, uh, you, you, like you're trying to find a job or, or you're trying to find a better job or you're looking, it might be like a position, I just see, see this shift in, in employment, like uh, maybe you're trying to get a uh, um, promotion where you're at. If that's you, just pop on, just uh, say something. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If that's you, if that's you, just pop on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If that's you, that you're you're looking for, a, it's, it's either you need a job, it's you're looking for an advancement, or like maybe a promotion, just go ahead and uh, pop on. Is that you? So let me know. I'm, I'm not in a hurry. 
Let me know. Those of you that are watching, uh, share the broadcast. I'm going to start praying for people. To share the broadcast, guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, Father, I just thank you right now. I thank you right now in Jesus' name. Hey, Jennifer Martin. What's up, girl? Love you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so that Mary, that's you. Or is it Mary? Yeah, Mary, that's you. So, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I just release supernatural favor right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I release supernatural favor over your life right now for a new job, a better position in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Favor, favor to move up, to be promoted. Better finances, better benefits right now in Jesus' name. And I just even speak right now uh, to you, Mary, that it's not just a better position, it's not just a better job, but it's also, right now, get this, Mary, I also see this, even extended paid vacation times right now. Do we just release that right now in Jesus' mighty name? Hallelujah. So we're uh, share the broadcast, guys. I'm praying for people. Shakalamaba. Need to know if I should look for another job. Well, Kimberly, right now, just release favor to you right now in whoa, in the blueprints of your life. That you would get supernatural downloads from God on what you need to do next. Hallelujah. The next move right now in Jesus' mighty name. Share the broadcast, guys. I'm praying for people. I'm releasing favor right now in Jesus' mighty name. Fuego, fuego, fuego. Fire, fire, fire. Shoko la pashika la pashika. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What's up, Sean Barker? How are you doing, buddy? Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Just put your prayer request up there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. I, I just I just had this um, cross my mind, uh, my spirit even, that there's somebody that's been having uh, numbness in their body. Numbness in their body. Jesus, if that's you, just go ahead and say something. Numbness in your body. Is there numbness in your body? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Numbness in your body. Who is that? I'm not in a hurry. Just share the broadcast, guys. I'm not in a hurry. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to pray for everybody. Numbness in your body. Who is that? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Jessica, so I just released that right now, right now, just a supernatural understanding of your job in Jesus' name. So, Shnazo, I just, I just rebuke that right, right now. I just rebuke that right now, right now. I just rebuke that spirit of suicide right now. I rebuke that spirit of depression. Ho! Right, ho! Right now. I just rebuke that. Come out of him right now. He, hey, hey! Show! In Jesus' mighty name, you cannot stand. God is not a respecter of time and space. And right now, Holy Spirit is coming into your place right now and touching your spirit right now, reaching into you and ripping that spirit of suicide and depression out of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God. Who showed that I have no tolerance for that spirit of depression and suicide. Why? Because I beat that in my life. I had that spirit in my life. And what I've been delivered from, I have the authority over. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just share the broadcast, guys. In Jesus' name. Just put up your prayer request. Hallelujah. Who was it that had that, who, uh, there was that numbness. I, 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 I saw numbness and it may, may have been a spiritual, it may have been a spiritual numbness. I'm not, I'm not sure. So, uh, but hallelujah. And maybe a a mental numbness. Thank you, Father God. So just put up your prayer request, share the broadcast, make sure you share guys, share, share, share. Sharing is carried. You can plant a digital seed right now by sharing this broadcast hallelujah thank you father 
Thank you, Lord. Hey, guys, by the way, if you want to give to our to our trip, uh, it, it costs a lot of money to take all these people with us, and you have to take multiple vehicles and things like that. Um, it, it, it does take uh, quite a bit of cash. Um, so if you want to give, uh, the PayPal link is there. If somebody might want to, matter of fact, I think I can probably do it right here. Um, uh, whoa, sh just put up your prayer because I'm going to keep praying, man. I'm not, I am definitely not done. Um, just, uh, uh, Put it up there, and we're going to pray. I'm just going to put my my uh, PayPal link here, so if people want to give towards our next trip, they can. It's not cheap to to go. I mean, it's uh, it's basically I think um, about 18 hours for us to drive to New York um, with a couple vehicles and a bunch of people, and it it does cost a lot of cash. So if you want to give to that, and it doesn't matter, you know, it can be. Gosh, man, it could be 20 bucks. It could be 200 bucks. You know, I'm not putting a limit on it, and I'm not, you know, uh, on on the on the large end or the big end. It's all about in the in the spirit that it's given in. Amen. Um, but every dollar counts. Every dollar does count. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, some people have seen that we are uh, we are raising money for uh, a ministry vehicle. How do you? Um, how can't I pin this? There we go. Hallelujah. There we go. So, um, yeah, we're raising money um, for a ministry vehicle so we can travel more effectively. Um, uh, you know, we, we've actually, we started out, we were going to, we we're actually going to uh, try to get two uh, brand new minivans. Um, but since then, I think we might shift a little bit on that. It might be a little bit more cost effective um, to get a, 15 passenger van that's meant for cross country um and pull a trailer with the, with the luggage but you can get that in a diesel and um it makes it uh, a little bit more effective and i i think it'll actually be cheaper uh in in the in the short term and the and in the big picture um because diesels are better on fuel um anyway so hallelujah so what any more prayer requests let's 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 get some prayer requests hallelujah Thank you. Let me just see. Did, did anybody say anything? No. Thank you, Lord. Boy, this thing's shaky, huh? Thank you, Lord. William Pollock, I don't think ever came on. He's probably busy. Hey, Mike. What's up, Mike Maxson? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Love you, buddy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Shuck it up, Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mike, you have an upcoming event. So, Father God, right now in Jesus' name, I just release, uh, whoa, supernatural grace, supernatural glory over that upcoming meeting in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Uh, Okay, so you want, um, whoa, discernment and direction. So, Father, we release right now supernatural discernment and direction. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe your name was Cherise, Ch Cherise. So I just release that over you right now. In Jesus' mighty name, Chris, direction and build up. Uh, what what do you what do you mean by build up? Tell me what you mean by build up. I want to make sure I pray for the for the right thing. Amen. I want to make sure I pray for the for the correct thing there. But uh, Father, we just release uh, direction on Chris right now in Jesus' mighty name. Divine supernatural direction to be released. Whoa! Whoa! I felt that. I felt that God is on something. There is something there in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory. Donna, dental healing. I'm praying for it right now in Jesus' name. Supernatural dental healing in Jesus' mighty name. We just speak to those, to those teeth, to the gums, to the mouth, to the jaw right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, brother, good. Um, I, I missed that. I missed what it said. Let me see if I can see it on here. 
Oh, Brotherhood. Brotherhood. So, oh yeah, so Chris, so, so we just, I, I just speak supernatural relationships into your life. Into your life right now, Chris. Supernatural relationships in your life. God, bring the right people right now, in Jesus' name, to come together, heart-knit relationships, to lift each other's arms. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Guys, share this broadcast for me. Share the broadcast for me, guys. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just put up your your um, your prayer request. There's my wife watching. Hey, Nina. Thank you, Lord. Oh, shakala mahi shi di siri bihi shanda do do baha. Oh, shanda le bihi gale bihi shin di siri di 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 hi. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We love you, Jesus. What else? Who else has a prayer request today? There's a man. Hey, Amanda. Amanda is watching. I went to school, raised with Amanda. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Carla Ray, for unity to come to the prophets. Boy, that's an even one right now, isn't it? There's so much division in the body of Christ. So much division. I just pray right now. I was snapping. I wasn't snapping at the, that prayer. I was actually snapping at this uh, supernatural clarity thing. And my spirit went straight to that, Gregory, right now. So I speak right now, Gregory to your request in Jesus' mighty name. And Carla, we call that into existence right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I'm also going to be traveling with Stephen Powell um, in actually in California in November. We'll be doing a few meetings together. We have some open slots for the West Coast if you're interested. Um, and then and then I also we are doing two weeks together in February um, for the North uh, the Northeast Glory Invasion. Um, we're doing two weeks of meetings. If you want to plan um, uh, to have us into your church, if you're in you know Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, um, anywhere in the Northeast, uh, we're doing two weeks together um, in the Northeast uh, in February. If you want to get your ministry on that tour with us. Uh, we would love to. Uh, we'd love to do it. Um, hallelujah, Prophet Stephen Powell. Thank you, Lord. How many people are actually coming to New York to the meetings in New York? Anybody watching here that are coming to the meetings in New York? Thank you, Lord. Whoa! I'm telling you, it's going to be life changing. I can't believe how many people. I mean, it, it's 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 an amazing amount of people already. It's it's packed. I mean, it's packed. It's one of those things where where the glory is moving so much that it, it it's packed. It's that heavy. It's amazing. A lot of people are coming in. Um, uh, they're flying into Buffalo and then and then driving in. Interpretation of dreams, visions, and being supernaturally transported. So what is that a question, or you just want that ability, Dee Dee? Um, so I, I'll just pray. Uh, well, yeah, just let me know. Are you asking for that ability? Or are you are you asking if I do that? Mm. Thank you, Lord. Got a little limeade here. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Gregory, I don't know where Nova Scotia is. I'm not a. I don't know much about Canada. Um, I know that I have some people in Canada want me to come. Um, and, but I, that's right across the border in Ontario. And I think maybe in, uh, I might be going to the upper Alberta area at some point. Um, I don't know where Nova Scotia is actually. Um, but if you're close, uh, it doesn't matter if you're close or not. People are actually flying in from all over the place, um, uh, into New York. Uh, we actually had, man, I had a lady that came in for all the way from LA to Tennessee to a meeting a while back. I mean, you know, a church alive is worth a drive, you know, or worth a fly. Um, these have happened to me and would like interpretation. 
interpretation of dreams, visions, and being supernaturally transported. Okay, well, um, so Didi, it's it's hard on the Atlantic. Yeah, so yeah, you you wouldn't be that far away. So you should come in, Gregory. Um, there's people. There's tons of Canadians that come into these meetings in in uh, in New York. Uh, but uh, so look. Uh, uh, Didi, so I could pray for you to, to get revelation on your own. It's hard for me to do interpretations over live stream because much of interpretations is, is, uh, is relevant to circumstance or to, um, context. And so it's hard to get an, uh, you know, like a real, um, idea on, on context, um, by, uh, by over the live stream. Hey brother, what's up? What's up, Isaiah? Hallelujah. You guys are having some good meetings, I hear. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's what's up. Um, so, uh, Dee Dee, so let me pray right now. Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Yeah, man, come on. In Jesus' name, I just release right now supernatural interpretation, supernatural vision, supernatural identification of these giftings right now of, the, of these uh encounters that Didi's had we just release 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 ho oh, release right now the interpretation the prophetic interpretation of those things in jesus name hallelujah what's up deb how you doing i can't wait to be back i hope you're gonna be there deb you're gonna be there aren't you i can't imagine you would miss it thank you lord thank you jesus Hallelujah. So what else? Who else has a prayer request? Uh, who else? Who help? Who else has it? In Jesus name, we got we got Mark. Let me just we got Mark watching. Uh, Joe. Um, Isaiah. Uh, we got uh, Deb. We got Sheila. Uh, Mason. Hey, Sheila. What's up? We got Tim. Um. We got my wife. We got Amanda. Uh, wow. Hallelujah. Go ahead and share the broadcast, guys. Thank you, Lord. So who else Who else has a prayer request right now? In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Man, God is amazing, isn't he? I'm telling you right now. God, I, I have never seen God pour out as much as he's been pouring out lately. He is just pouring out something new every day. He is fresh every single day he is fresh amen and boy i'm glad i wouldn't want it any other way you know what i'm saying um i wouldn't want the same thing every single day hallelujah thank you jesus say hi to the missus and the gang i gotta see who said that because it doesn't show me on there Well, doesn't show me on here either. Thank you, Lord. Well, let me push this. Oh, hi. Oh, Deb. Thank you, Deb. I will. I will say hi. Hey, Mike. How are you? Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Well, I tell you what, guys. I'm I'm probably I'm gonna get ready. Um, I've got a meeting tonight with Dr. Reedy. Um, uh, he's my ministry partner here in Kansas City. Where we'd like to spend as much time together um, as we can uh, because I'm leaving for another 14 weeks, and uh, um, so we're gonna spend some time together tonight. But I'm probably gonna do a late night. Um, uh, please pray against performance anxiety for Tammy and wonderful. Yeah, we pray against that right now. I break that anxiety in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I'm going to do a uh, Q&A tonight, um, probably when I get back. But I'm going to do a long, I'm going to do a long, all-day um, prayer-a-thon tomorrow. And uh, I don't know about all day, but we're going to do several hours online tomorrow. And it's going to be good. Hallelujah. So... God bless you guys. I hope to see you um, in New York. 
Uh, I hope to see you on my next live streams. And uh, please um, give a gift if you can. Uh, it, like I said, it costs a lot of money to transport all of us around and to get us to where we're going and, and things like that. So if you can give a gift, anything counts, man. Some people can give five. Some people can give 500. There's somebody out there who could probably give 5,000 or, or 50,000. Um, but every dime counts. It's not about the amount, but, but it's about the heart behind it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Peace out and shalom.